Well, Chicago's very own Jim Belushi has had a long career in acting and comedy, but now he's trying his hand at marijuana. Yeah, Belushi has a cannabis farm. In I left the lights on. He left the lights on all night, frying everything. Jack, get out of here, Jim. How come they don't look alive? Yeah, because they're dead. Idiot! <laughs> His experience on the farm has been uh, recorded for a new TV show that's called Growing Belushi. And Jim joins us live from the farm to talk about his show. Thanks for being back on WGN. We appreciate it. Well, you know, I grew up with GN. GN bought, according to Jim, WGN is my favorite television station in the country. In Boom. the country. That is a promo right there. Thank, Thank you very you so much. much. Anyway, this was a great interview. We'll talk to you next time. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right. So did you seriously set out to be a weed farmer or did this start as like a bit for the show where your agent oh, called no, you up no. and said, hey, this will be fun? No, I, I bought this beautiful property. I mean, I'm right on the Rogue River here, as you can see behind me. And I built this little house and the farm came up behind me. And it was 80 acres, and I went, oh, what am I going to grow? Cattle? I don't know anything about cattle. <laughs> I don't know anything about anything. And Danny Aykroyd introduced me to this guy, Captain Jack, who grew this greatest cannabis that they used in the Saturday Night Live days. And Captain Jack was actually known <laughs> as the weed dealer there, and he was known as the smell of SNL. <laughs> so... Uh, uh, they used to smoke that. I sure, I'm sure Coneheads came out of this, Captain Jack. But anyway, so he said, why don't you have uh, uh, Captain Jack grow a little uh, cannabis? It's legal in Oregon. Huh. And, and that's how are. it started. Okay, and, and now you are. I've, now I've, I'm, I'm growing 1,600 pounds, and we're, I'm in Massachusetts and Michigan and Oklahoma and Colorado and Oregon. And anyway, I filmed it. Yeah. I filmed this this. It's a very funny show, very informative. It looks I like it. Yeah, it looks I, like it. I just wonder how you go from being, you know, a weed farmer to then, because it's one thing to be a weed farmer, but to create a whole show out of it is a whole nother thing. You mentioned Dan Aykroyd, and you've got a bit with him that's coming up about you guys going to Colombia to figure out how to grow weed from, I guess, Colombian seeds. Explain that to me. Well, Danny, I wanted to use the Blues Brothers as our logo for the cannabis because it was all Danny's idea to start this damn thing. <laughs> and he said, well, look at uh, Jimmy, you know, the legacy of the Blues Brothers is of excellence. And you need to find a, a, a plant that can match the legacy of the Blues Brothers. Mm. And there are four seeds in Colombia that I want you to get for the Blues Brothers. And we're on so a mission season, from God. You can see exactly how that trip started. And we are. We went down to Peru, uh, to Colombia, got these four seeds, and we grew them. And in this season, I'm growing them. And you can see Danny's disappointment. I killed them. <laughs> Uh, so tonight's episode is the big reveal to Danny that I killed his plants. And then Guy Fieri comes in, mm. my friend Guy. Yeah. To bring and the munchies. We, uh, well, that's the thing, you know. <laughs> I was doing this, an interview and someone said, wow, being on a weed farm and then having Guy come, uh, that's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you can have a little weed and then you can eat all night, you know. A dream so, come true. I love all of this. Right. Okay. Then there's Larry Joe Campbell from According to Jim. He's on the show, yeah. too. I think probably we're still it, wear, uh, running According to Jim reruns at like 2 in the morning here on the, on the, yeah. the old number 9. Uh, did I hear that you are, uh, I don't know, about moving back to Chicago or buying a place or deepening yeah, your Chicago roots? Yeah, I just, I just... Uh, I close in the uh, beginning of February. I can't wait to come back home. Oh, I love Man. it. We got another one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Buying yeah, a house I in mean, Chicago uh, you know, in the winter. Great idea. I, I want to, yeah, really I'm smart, right? Shows you. <laughs> well, no, I still have a small home. I sold a big home there mm -hmm. this year, but I got a small home there that I got when I first came to LA in 86, and I've kept it. So that's going to be my winter home. All right. <laughs> but my kids are there, and 
but uh, Chicago is where my heart is. It's where I learned I to be it. an actor, where I learned to be myself. Yeah. Okay. And, and I've been walking the streets. It feels great. Here's the promise. When you come back, after you close on the house, you come and visit us here in person in the 4 o'clock uh, newscast, okay? Uh, I Deal? would love that, but yeah. you, have, you <laughs> have to watch Growing Belushi. I will. Belushi. I will. Uh -huh. There on we go. Discovery at mm -hmm. 10 o'clock tonight. Very important that Chicago watches yes. this tonight. We got the plug on the screen. Plus, uh, you're still doing Very comedy. Cool. We've got it all. We'll have it on our website. Uh, when you come visit us, bring some of the Blues Brothers uh, infused ice cream, please, for Lourdes. Oh, it is so good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you, Mr. Thanks for your support. Have a good <laughs> Thanks, afternoon. Jim. And again, all you can right. watch Jim and Growing Belushi on Discovery Wednesday nights at 9 p.m. Central, and it's streaming on Discovery Plus. And Jim will be coming to town April 15th. You can catch his live show at the Displains Theater. Tickets are now on sale. Thank you. A Chicago treasure.